Hello everyone, this is the first video of my series of LEGO Robotics tutorials where I'll be teaching you different useful skills for robotics competitions such as WRO, FLL, and beyond. In this first episode, we will learn about a basic yet useful method of movement I want to share to you. If you're not from one of these countries, then you're probably very familiar with the metric system. The most commonly used metric measurement unit for distance is meters. In small robots like ones in WRO or FLL, it makes sense for you to use centimeters for robot movement rather than anything else in the metric system, right? Using standard unit of measurements to move your robots around is very beneficial to you because you can just measure the distance you need to travel in a measuring tape and directly input it into your program. And you're good to go. This method will be very helpful in surprise missions when the clock is constantly ticking and you don't have a lot of time for trial and error. Well, the problem is that most EV3 programming softwares doesn't have the option for you to use centimeters in movement blocks, only rotations, degrees, and seconds. Rotations means how many rotations, how many times the motor completes one full revolution. Degrees is just the number of rotations times 360. And this seconds is just, well, the number of seconds passed after the motor starts spinning. So in this video, I will be teaching you how to simply convert centimeters into rotations and degrees for the robot to move. The equation for converting rotations into centimeters is to multiply the amount of more rotations by the circumference of the wheel. And for degrees, you'll take it one step further, which is to divide the degrees by 360 and then multiply it by the circumference. But what we are actually trying to do is to translate centimeters value that we want into rotations and degrees so that the robot can understand. So we need to invert the equations just like this. The robot that we will test the code on has a wheel diameter of 62.4 millimeters officially, which is 6.24 centimeters, and we need to multiply it by pi to get the circumference, and you'll get this monstrosity of a number, and then you need to round it until 19.6. And this is the circumference of the wheel that we will use it in our program. This is our EV3 classroom program. Our goal is to move for 30 centimeters, and these two programs will both make the robot move 30 centimeters, just translate it into rotations and degrees respectively. So, you may ask, Ang Pao, why don't you just use rotations because that calculation is simpler, you don't need another step. If you're asking that, then you're totally correct. In normal movement, only converting to rotations is perfectly okay. But converting centimeters to degrees is also very important. This is mainly because EV3 classroom motor encoder blocks always counts in degrees. So if you want to create a more advanced code, such as line following for a distance, then you need to use motor encoders to count the distance, which again measures in degrees. And this is the EV3 lab software program for moving with centimeters, and this, this EV3 lab software program for setting a loop condition for moving with centimeters. Let's test the code. Here I will test the robot by making it move forward 30 centimeters counting by rotations and then move backwards for an, again another 30 centimeters counting by degrees. And now I have this ruler right here to measure the robot's distance and let's run the code. It looks like the robot is spinning around instead of moving forward like we intended it to. This is because the robot is using a medium motor driving base. In EV3, the definition of moving straight is for both movement motors to go in the same direction. For a robot to move around using large motors, the motors will be placed this way, which is in the same orientation. Therefore, the motors moving in the same direction will lead to the wheels moving in the same direction, just like this which means the robot will move straight. But when we are using medium motors to drive, the motor's orientation will be inverted, just like this. As you can see, the motors are oriented differently, and which means the motors moving in the same direction will mean this motor moving here, this motor moving like this, which does not make the robot move straight, but rather turn instead, because the wheels are moving in different directions, so it turns. 
That means one motor's speed needs to be inverted in order to move straight. So, for example, if this motor speed is inverted and this motor speed is normal, then it'll go like this. So it'll go straight. So let's try that again. This time, we will use this block instead, that it can adjust the speed of both motors, not just one motor. So this time, we will make it negative 50 and positive 50% speed, so that it can move forward, just like we want it to be. And then we just put the calculation in. This time, we'll wait for around 3 seconds. After, after that, it will move backwards. For moving backwards, we just do the opposite, just like this. Remember to set it to degrees, and after that, we will stop and exit program. This is the code, and let's try it again. As you can see, it's exactly 30 centimeters, and then it moves back, 30 centimeters. And now, let's test the code in EV3G, or EV3 lab software, as people call it. So. This code will move forward for 30 centimeters using rotations to count and then move backwards for 30 centimeters using degrees to count. Let's run the code. Again, this would not work because the motors, the, the robot is using media motors to drive. So let's change this. In EV3G, if we want to ch alter the speed of two motors instead of one to, for movement, we need to use this move tank block. We just drag it up and we pull the rotations in. We set this to the inverted speed, which is negative 50. And then, the same goes for the backwards block. We just pull the move tank block instead. And then set it to degrees, put the rotations in, and then we set the speed. And now let's put a weight block between it so that we can see if it moves 30 centimeters or not. And then let's run the code. See, it moves exactly 30 centimeters and then it moves back exactly 30 centimeters. Just to sum things up, in this lesson, we learned the benefits of using standardized measurement units to move our robot. We learned how to convert centimeters into motor rotations and degrees. We learned the difference between driving with large motors and medium motors, and the basics of coding with a medium motor driving base. And lastly, we have unlocked the most basic skill, which is moving straight in both EV3 programming softwares, the EV3 Classroom, and EV3G. Thank you for watching this video, and please check out my other videos. See you next time.